we are currently living in a time of rapid change. There's a lot of information, there's a lot of disinformation, there's a lot of anxiety and troublesomeness about the state of affairs of the world. And in an interesting way, the Christian world contributes to the confusion. There's a lot of uh, fake news about the end of the world, of the tribulation, of the coming Antichrist, of uh, the return of Jesus, the rapture. But little of these things are biblically founded. There's a major problem because of this. We don't have a clear understanding as to what the Bible says about the future. We don't understand what God says about the future of man on earth. What is his plan? What is about to happen? What is crucial is that most of these allegations, most of these predictions, these prophecies are founded um, on the basis of Matthew 24. Uh, and as Johnny Cash sings, Matthew 24 is knocking at your door. The most problematic issue regarding this is that Matthew 24 has a total different history than what most Christians make it out to be. If you look at all the prophecies about the, uh, the blood moons, about the feasts of the Lord falling into a specific pattern this time of the year, at the constellations of the stars, which uh, they say relate to Revelation 12, and all these things, it creates an anxiety. And when you read it linked to Matthew 24, it brings about a very big uneasiness. Now, what is interesting is Matthew 24, if you look at the caption in the New King James Version, it says, Jesus predicts the destruction of the temple. But the temple in Jerusalem fell 70 A.D., 70 years after Christ was born, the temple was put to ruins. Now, this prophecy is Jesus looking at the temple, telling his disciples, I want you to be aware that there's a calamity coming. And it will come in the generation that you are part of. And then he starts speaking about the temple, clearly um, with regard to the signs of the times that the temple would be demolished. And what we then do is we take this history from the Bible, the signs and the times and the end of the age, the great tribulation, uh, the coming of the Son of Man, what we call the tribulation, all from this passage in Matthew 24. And we link it to today, as if these things are about to happen. And then we say, but this is the time of the tribulation, of the coming of the Antichrist, of the powers of heaven and of nature shaking the world. But the sad thing is, all these things already happened. They are way past. If you read in Jesus' own words, Matthew 24, um, verse 34, Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all of these things take place. A generation is about 40 years. It has a duration of 40 years. This was spoken in 30 AD. 30 plus 40 years, one generation, equals 70. The temple was demolished in 70 AD. What is crucial is that we get an understanding of God's agenda for the time to come and align your life towards that specific agenda.
If this video excites you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The information is at the bottom of the screen. There is so much more exciting revelation to come. Uh, please tune in. Thank you.